Proud residents and freedom fighters of Libya's third largest city, Misrata, celebrate in their own martyrs' square the victory over Muammar Gaddafi and the large role that they played in it. Misrata has had both positive and negative press recently. Conscious of this, there was worry from some of the commanders here that this parade of weapons and fighters could be misconstrued as a show of military force rather than of celebration. This moment is an expression of joy for the people and the freedom fighters of Misrata. At the fall of the dictator, this is their own declaration. We have to express our joy and say to the world that to establish freedom, to get dignity and honor, revolution is necessary. Your soul and your blood have to be given to get freedom. Tripoli Street, which runs through the center of Misrata, shows the scale of the destruction which the lengthy siege of the city by Gaddafi's forces has left behind. Many of this city's residents died defending Misrata and will not get to see the new Libya which they gave their life for. The people of Misrata are known for their fighting spirit, but now the war is over, they are looking forward to rebuilding their city. During the liberation we had a phrase, fight at war and construct in peace. Thank God we are free now so we can apply our saying. In my opinion, the city has to be rebuilt from scratch, but it needs good planning and management. We should construct it properly from the start. That is better than patching up the old buildings, as everything has been demolished. Plan first and get it right. One of the most important issues is the removal of weapons from Libya's streets, and most of these men seem ready and willing to go back to work. It's important to hand in my weapon and return to my previous job. But that will be when my battalion commands me. After the liberation period, we are looking forward to everyone handing in their weapons. I want to say that we won't betray our mother's blood, who sacrificed themselves for this moment of victory. Now that NATO has ended its successful operation in Libya, the time for rebuilding all across the country has to come next. This is the NATO Channel, reporting from Misrata.